your AI videos don't have to look compressed or low quality. With Flash VSR, we can turn this into this right inside Comfy UI. Let's upscale your videos to real 4K quality. Flash VSR isn't just another frame-by-frame -frame upscaler. It's built for temporal stability, meaning smooth motion, no flicker, and sharp detail across every frame. Before installing Flash VSR, make sure Comfy UI is already up and running on your system. It works both locally and on RunPod, so whatever setup you're using is fine. Just make sure you're on the latest version. Let's start by getting the workflow ready. You can download the pre-built Flash VSR workflow JSON from our website. It includes all the nodes and default connections so you don't have to build it from scratch. Once downloaded, just drag the Flash VSR JSON file onto your Comfy UI canvas. You'll see the full layout load instantly, with nodes for loading video, upscaling, and combining your final output. If any nodes show up in red, that just means some custom nodes are missing, including Flash VSR itself. Open the Manager tab in the top right, then click Install Missing Custom Nodes. In the list that appears, find Comfy UI Flash VSR. Make sure you select version 1.00 or later, not the nightly one, and hit Install. Once that's done, do the same for any other nodes shown, like the Video Helper Suite. That one handles your Load Video and Video Combiner nodes. When everything's installed, restart Comfy UI to apply the changes. Now let's talk about the models. Flash VSR will automatically download its model weights from Hugging Face the first time you run it, but if you'd rather do it manually, you can also download them yourself and drop them into your model slash Flash VSR folder. Flash VSR comes in three model variants, and the one you choose depends on your GPU and clip length. The full model gives you the best detail and motion clarity. Ideal for 24GB GPUs or higher, the tiny model is the balanced option, offering great quality and speed for most users. And the tiny long model is designed for longer clips or low VRAM setups, letting you upscale without running into memory issues. Now comes the fun part, tuning your Flash VSR node for the best performance and output. Start by selecting your model version, whichever one fits your GPU and workflow best. Then set your scale. A 2x upscale is faster and lighter. 4x gives you higher resolution but uses more VRAM. If you're low on VRAM, enable tiling and VAE tiling. This splits each frame into smaller chunks and keeps memory use manageable. Stick with a tile size of 256 if you're tight on memory, or bump it up to 512 or 704 for faster processing. But before we continue, quick shout out to today's sponsor, FanView. FanView is a platform built for creators who want to monetize in new ways. And right now, one of the fastest growing trends is AI influencers. Yes, creators are already earning a serious income by building and running AI-driven accounts. To make it easy to get started, FanView has launched a free Creator Academy course. It gives you the exact step-by-step -step blueprint for setting up your own AI influencer and shows how people are turning their skills into a side hustle with some earning thousands every month. If you're curious about making money with AI or just want to see how this space works, check out the free course. I'll leave the link down below, it's definitely worth a look. Alright, now let's jump back in. Tile overlap reduces visible seams. Keep it around 24 by default or 48 if you see lines between tiles. Speed optimization and quality boost let you fine tune performance. A setting of two for both gives a good balance, but if your GPU can handle it, raise the quality boost to 3.0 for ultra sharp output. Enable color fix to keep your original colors intact and keep stability level at 11 for smooth frame to frame motion. For most users, BF16 Precision is ideal. It's fast and keeps quality high. And if you're running our Comfy UI template with Sage Attention on RunPod, make sure to enable it here. It can give you an extra 20 to 30% speed boost during upscaling. Finally, set unload model to false. While testing, it keeps things responsive between runs. Once you're batch processing, turn it on to free up VRAM automatically. And that's your optimized setup. Let's run a quick test. All right, let's run it. Load the video clip you want to upscale in the load video node. Now we're ready to run the workflow. On the first pass, Flash VSR will automatically download the model you've selected, so give it a moment to finish that setup. Once processing is complete, the video combined node will automatically save your upscaled video. 
you'll find it in your output folder with this prefix. Here's a comparison between the original and the Flash VSR upscale. Notice how edges, motion, and lighting stay smooth and stable. Flash VSR keeps every frame coherent even in fast motion, something frame by frame upscalers just can't match. Here's another example, I've also added a rife interpolation node here to bump the FPS from 16 to 32. You can upscale to full HD, 2K or 4K depending on your settings. Higher scales will take longer, but the visual payoff is worth it. And that's Flash VSR. High quality, stable video upscaling directly inside Comfy UI. With tiling, model variants, and Sage Attention Acceleration, you've got full control over quality and performance. If this tutorial helped, drop a like, subscribe for more Comfy UI workflows, and let me know what you want covered next. Until then, happy upscaling!